Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lil Guardsman. Alright, 17% done, so I'm guessing this game is not too long. But yeah, uh, if you missed the uh, first episode, check it out. It's a really funny game. It's it's really cute and... I, I don't know, I really like it and I appreciate the support, guys. So, let's do it. Let's continue. I want to see what happens in the story. So we pretty much did like the first night or whatever, so now we gotta go to Dungeon 7, Room 4. Okay. Oh, this is scary. What the heck? I deal for prisoners who only have one arm. <laughs> what the? That is kind of weird, huh? Is there a lot of one-armed prisoners? Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what the bucket is for. I mean, yeah, come on. Still is pris this the right place? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. Okay. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, you dared. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my lair of chaos. Hi. It looks like a bedroom. It is his damn bedroom. Where does it can be two things. I'm a minimalist. What? <laughs> so, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yes. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. Oh no, what happened to Dad? What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. I the see. desk? Then you're free to go. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Uh, backup, who are you? You can think of us as the real change makers here in the sprawl. Sure, there's the princess, but I think she's better suited to cutting ribbons and things like that. Careful. At any rate, I am Councilwoman Ash, head politician and policymaker for the sprawl. Lieutenant Stryker, head of military and law enforcement. And I'm Malcolm. He's uh, a jester of the court. I think they got that from the hat. Basically, <laughs> we're the ones who really make things happen around here. And I'm Malcolm. So it would just be Malcolm. wise for you to do as we say. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. Damn it, you've got us there. But how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Do I even have a choice? Yes, you choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? Is this actually a thing? What if I guess right? <laughs> There's probably no way to do it. Wait, when you, why am I able to pick one of them? It's this one. Wait. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. What? <laughs> it wasn't the option. Well, you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? <laughs> you lost fair and square. Ah, you're right. Dang it. It was so clear. I don't know how I didn't see that. But... Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. But... That concludes this briefing. They didn't we say suggest why, you go though. back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. Like, why, why is the dad being replaced? It's called being an adult. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Goodbye! That's a nice lights. Okay. Well, we gotta get back to the post, huh? Oh, we gotta go home first, I guess. Tell Dad. He's fired. He doesn't know it. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? <laughs> Root Make beer? too, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. <laughs> Can it at least be cold? 
That depends. How did work go today? Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? Just gambling the money away? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. Okay. We don't question it. All right, we don't question it. Oh, hey, the hat guy. He got his hat. <laughs> Wait a minute. This hat, it is not oh. as fantastic <laughs> as my previous hat. Yeah, see, my journey, it continues. We met him in the first one, and, uh... All right, we let him in. I like that you can actually kind of see, like, the people that you let Aha! in. Ah, There she is, the brilliant little half-pint running the desk. You kind of sound like Stewie. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? Well, yeah, about? you're supposed to give me some money. If you did, I have the gold I promised you <laughs> right here. <laughs> Uh, ah, I kept them out. Yep, I sure did. Kick their ass back to Marvel. But I could have just <laughs> lied. I could have just lied about it. Incredible bravery in the face of a brutal murderer. Oh, you know, all in a day's work. What kind of gold are we talking about here? I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad. Son of King Phineas. Okay. Just the gold, thank you. Oh, yes. Here you are. Yeah, I still don't know what we do with the gold. Uh, I guess we're gonna buy stuff, It's huh? broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. Okay. I will do that. So I guess we go to bed? I'm not ready for bed. There's still stuff to do. Or not. There's someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy Blinkers, Gerby Bonbon. Anyways, it's just through that door over there. Somebody waiting for a 12 year old in a dark alley? Sign me. <laughs> I cannot say that with a straight face. Uh, <laughs> uh, it just, I'm just gonna, I mean, the point is, uh, it sounds wrong, right? It's like, oh, they don't even care. They just let him. All right. Oh, this dude. Okay, it's the entrepreneur well, guy. You came. Hi. Welcome to garbage bunches and boy, uh, this is what wonder. we do with the money. You're Got my it. very first customer. Uh, rain on his parade. Be supportive. I'm gonna be supportive. I was actually nice inspired guy. by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday, and I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. Okay. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Oh. So we don't need this stuff, right? I hope we don't need it. All right, purchase it. Okay, so here's the upgrades that we can get. Metal detector, purchase an additional power crystal slot. So they're just slots. And then this is just literally the crystals themselves that you can buy. Well, I mean, honestly, I haven't really used them that much. I used the bullwhip like what, once? The x-ray seems like a, it's a good thing. Let's do, we'll do the metal detector. And then I guess I'll just grab one of these. Or should I just go for the, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do that. Okay, so apparently we can go in the sewers later on. Alright. Wait, can I go... <laughs> the smell coming out of the dumpster is indescribable. Alright. Cool. So that's what we do with that. Okay, can I go to bed now? I have guarding to do. I think I've done everything I need to do. Okay, let's go. Quiet, you. Oh, when Seamus McGoblin arrived at the dungeon to paint only to find it still full of bloodthirsty criminals, his first impulse was to hightail it out of there, but he was a pro and times were tough for Goblin, so he did his best to work around them. He unfortunately did get sh shift because he wasn't paid to get cannibals uh, Calvin's favorite color, but at least it wasn't he wasn't eaten. 
so he survived. All right, I don't feel so bad. He returned to his family with a haunted look in his eyes. <laughs> Obviously, he was fine. We talked to him, right? So he presented himself at uh, court, which began okay until the sheer politeness princess Desdemona acknowledges bugle. He proceeded to toot his own horn, which rapidly diminished the favor he had just curried and all the attendants left with a bad taste in their mouths and ringing in their ears. The knight laying in his bed in the chambers proved for visiting dignitaries. He felt smug that he had managed to successfully slow down his competition by bribing a guardsman. A 12-year-old guardsman, that is. He thought to himself, maybe I missed my calling as a spy, but quickly rethought it as he considered the life expectancy of a Peter Petrardian intelligence agent. Okay. Obviously, he found his hat. Okay. He didn't really like it as much, though, he says. Okay, he's still gonna search for a hat. Okay, so she returned uh, to the place she came from and conveyed that she had not completed her mission. Due to the meddling of a small human girl at the gate to the sprawl. Disappointed and inconvenienced, the praetor immediately stabbed the envoy through the heart, which made both of them feel a little better. <laughs> Wait, the praetor will uh, travel to sprawl to deal with this in person? Oh. Okay, so he just got... He just basically got depressed is what happened. Now, what happened to her? <laughs> She encountered a guard patrol outside of the city gates and attempted to pickpocket them quietly. While she didn't do it, while she didn't do it successfully on account of all the singing and jail, it only took her five minutes to be sent to the solitary confinement. Yeah, she was the funniest one. I hope we get some like really good ones. Level three. It's news in the morning with me, your news Excuse anchor me. Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. Not Sprankles! A representative from the Small Rodent and Budgie Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. Breaking news. The Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. Breaking news, that was my last piece of breaking news. <laughs> Keep tuning in for all your Okay. Oh, okay, another, look, note. another note. Hello, I'm off running an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently, apparently she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the Sprawl. Really shouldn't have completed, uh, competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin uh, Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra fiver just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but <laughs> my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. Okay, I can 12 year olds gamble? I mean, I guess. Yes, so in this universe. All right, so we know this is pretty important to, to pay attention to because this is like really plays into the whole guessing. Expect the arrival of Crown Prince Phineas of Petrard and Praetor. That, yeah, okay, so the, the leader of the freaking evil looking girl. Don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Ash, today is the Goblin Ball Tri Tip Cup semifinal between our beloved blah blah blah. Okay. There's been a BS report regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. A reminder to the guard for city officials are forbidden to participate in gray market sports betting. You mean what the dad wanted us to do? The guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have been a secret compartment. Okay. I will keep it in mind. So now that we know everything, it's time to do some garden. Okay. Uh, secret compartments, right? So we should definitely do the x-ray. We'll load it up with some gems. And I guess we should probably load this up as well. We'll do that. And we'll just do that, and then, who knows, we might need this. The music kind of sounds like Zelda. Yes, it is I, little one, heir to the throne of Petrarch, here before you in the flesh. Wow. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. No. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> okay. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine were a complete success. Only four deaths, which is far fewer than the last. 
No matter, we look forward <laughs> in the, the surprise. Draft. No look. sense crying over spilt. Um, well, there, there it is. Um, uh, trust? I'm glad things went well. Jeez, four dead? At an opening ceremony? Yes, tragic. Avoidable, but still <laughs> tragic. Completely avoidable. Luckily, it wasn't anyone important. A few unskilled laborers and one server. Could have been much, much worse. Okay. Mm. I've heard tell that the barbaric warmonger Praetor Kargan is my chief rival for the hand of your fair princess. <sighs> Can't even find decent competition these days. The Marvog are a loathsome bunch of butchers, killing each other over the tiniest infractions. Bump into someone in the checkout line, trial by combat. Accidentally sneeze on a sacred heirloom, trial by combat. <laughs> Worst vacation of my life. So I, I think the story can actually change because like think about it if I denied him That would completely change the story wouldn't it would it not? So I think you guys did tell me in the comments that it does the story does matter like you know Who you let in will change the story and I find that really interesting. I think that's probably the most interesting part about this game Okay, uh, I mean why wouldn't I trust him? He's clearly the guy right? It doesn't seem like anything suspicious I've never been anywhere in the Marvog Empire, but it does sound pretty brutal from what I've heard. I mean, we even got a picture of him. Oh, never go, my dear. Nothing in Marvog you can't find bigger, better, and shinier in Petrarch. Oh, for goodness sake, let's get on with it already. Hey, I'm the guard. Do I really need to announce myself all over again? What the devil is one sended on by for? Who do you think you are, peasant, to hold up the likes of me? I am off to marry, and in doing so, create the most powerful union this world has ever known. The sooner you realize your place, the better. I thought you said that we were on equal terms. You said something like that. Doubt. Just Look, because. your royal highness, this is for your own protection. Think about it. If I'm lax on letting you in, who knows what kind of people I might accidentally let in and the danger they might pose. All it takes is one disgruntled worker and BOOM! Maybe the next bottle of Protardian Fizzy is coming for you! Good lord, you're right. I'm sorry. Please yes, keep I think up I did good. the good work. In fact, take this. I brought this bottle as a gift oh, let's to the go. princess, you know. Something to break the ice. <laughs> uh, but consider it a thanks for all the great work. Yee, I can sell it. Okay, so I'm guessing that was a good thing. So let's just let him in. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> it's like the next one is like, I'm the, you know, he says this, uh, like it looks exactly like him. It's like, oh no. <laughs> that would be funny though. And with that, it is off to face the princess and destiny. Before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. Bro, you're a freaking prince or something, right? What if I say yes? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Oh, uh, much appreciated, little one. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to send a case they of will remember quality Petrardian Fizzy to your local establishment. Nice to keep some of my favorites on hand anyway. All right, I'm assuming this is gonna help. Wait, so I don't understand. Like, how am I not getting, like, perfects? Should the Crown Prince really be bumming cash off the peasantry? Probably not. Also, you'll never see that five bucks again. Oh, you know, I thought so too, but I thought I was something was good was gonna happen. Isn't that him? I swear we got a picture of him, so I thought it was okay. Dang it. I'm still learning, okay? Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Really now? I've heard people are trying to smuggle things in. I was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way, in case repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. The prince doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages of wardrobe changes alone. To be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. Doubt. You don't care for mages, eh? Most Petrardians share the attitude that you should be able to explain the hows, whys, and wherefores of the world. Mages and their ilk don't subscribe to such thinking. Uh, I definitely want to check that bag, okay?
Oh, he doesn't even have tools in there. What the heck's in there then? Oh wait. That toolkit was handed down to me by my great aunt Gildy, one of the finest restorers of beauty this world has ever known. A kit like this in the right hands, and there's nothing you can't do. Confiscate. Uh, <laughs> but there was nothing in it. Like, we would have known if there was something in it, right? I'll return it. I think you'd know what to do with these better than I would. I appreciate it, especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. Tool enthusiast? You got your own awesome toolkit there, and I bet you love using it as much as I do mine. Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. Oh, the jukebox. As a matter of fact, the jukebox at the Twisted Sisters Tavern has been on the Fritz for ages now. Oddly enough, fixing Fritzy jukeboxes is my specialty. I'll go there straight away and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. I don't understand what any of that meant, but great. Okay, I guess this guy is good. <laughs> it says, don't let your guard down right here. I, I may have a little bit, okay? Okay, but I'm assuming if I if I scanned this, it would have told me something bad was in it, so... If I could have afforded to stay home, I would have. But they made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so to speak. Was it a threat? A horse's head in your bed? <laughs> nope, just a big heaping pile of money. The king and queen are desperate for the prince to secure the hand of Princess Desdemona. The future prosperity of Petrard depends on it. To be frank, the whole kingdom is flat broke. This is their only chance to marry rich. All right. I guess that explains Seems good the big to me. deal everyone's making out of this whole let's marry the princess off thing. Shouldn't she have some kind of say in the matter? Now that is something seriously worth considering. All right, you're in. It, dude, if I let in the wrong person and they end up like something really I bad happens, I'm gonna feel like. <laughs> I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Okay, that seems like something we needed to do, so there we go, man. All right, so yeah. All right, I'm still feeling good about my choices so far. Sprinkles! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, boo hoo hoo. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 Sprinkles. Oh, Sprinkles. Weep, weep, weep. <laughs> well, this is silly. We are returning from the funeral services for Sprinkles? No, not Sprinkles! Oh, no! <laughs> the service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the, um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the I scroll. thought Sprinkles was missing. I don't remember... I don't remember... Uh, it's saying that he, she died or the cat died. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euphigenia's. <laughs> what? Doubt. Why is Sprinkles? Oh no! <laughs> this seems weird, right? I think. Why is, you know who, being laid to rest here? We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. What exactly is a duchy? It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by Her Grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Present. And it is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Oh, uh, Caladar! What a dump! Okay, mm uh, dang it, I really wish I would have remembered what that radio said. I, I'm pretty sure it's, it said it went missing. I think. I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but I'm gonna hit him with the truth spray. I'm probably wasting this. I only went to the funeral because Montes was catering. Oh. I always hated that damn cat. Oh. Sprinkles! Oh, so we- I'm sad. <laughs> I've just got to keep quiet, get the cat past customs, and then drop the illegal Ooh. contraband off at the dungeon. Then I'll get my money and be set. 
What did you say? My eulogy was very rambly and very poorly received. Uh, let them grieve in peace. Wait, what? Hang on. What did you just say? I'll admit it. I hated the cat. No, not you. You, mourner guy. I confess. I've been holding this inside for too long. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. I plead what guilty, that Your Honor, said. on the grounds of I did it. I'm not a judge, you know. Oh. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Yeah, you ain't getting in here. Oh. Wait. Why are you letting them in? I didn't say to do that. No, 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 no. All right. Have fun burying your cat. Oh, so like, okay, never mind. So they're all good except for that one guy. Okay, but it's good we didn't let him in then. We shall. So wait, so it's over then. Am I gonna? Sprinkles will be so happy at Saint Euphigenia's. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so Sprinkles, so Sprinkles thanks you. <laughs> thanks, Sprinkles. Sprinkles is really in there, uh, I guess. So does this mean that I did good because I didn't use all my action points? Oh, good. And that's how you truth spray your way to success. Let's see. Oh, okay, well that's good. You did a sting. You fooled a drug smuggler, bringing narcotics grade pixie dust into the sprawl inside the casket of a dead cat. What a weird day. Okay, I guess we'll take it. Oh my god. Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? What team? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us a game. Hmm. Uh, I doubt this. Well, it does say that today is the Goblin Ball Tri Goblin Cup, whatever. But they said that other people came in. They did not. Come on, the big Goblin Ball game starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take a detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Okay, uh, doubt. Is it really your personal driver's fault, or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? You sound just like my psychiatrist. Personal driver? Psychiatrist? <laughs> is there anything you don't have? I don't have time to talk to you all day. Uh, I'm just so, I guess I'm confused about how to play the game. Um, like, as far as getting a good score. Obviously, we need to stop bad people. Uh, you know, obviously we need to know that. Can but. we move this along? I'm the starting thrower and the team needs me to wipe the floor with those pathetic sprawl brawl. They're such a horrible team. I bet we could <laughs> win even without my lucky second sweatband. What lucky second sweatband? This lucky second sweatband. Uh, should I just confiscate it? Uh, like why not? Oh, if I confiscate it, they won't win, huh? I don't know what to do. I guess return it. Thanks. I'll definitely need this to win the big game today. Okay. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not because of some silly sweatband that I'm good at Goblin Ball. It's because of my spirit, my determination, us trolls' reduced sensitivity to the pain. You can have it. I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. Oh, I could have confiscated it, I guess. I guess you're in? Sure. You know, I think I could just sniff this stuff out. But I'm pretty sure if I denied her, it would it would they, they would lose the game and that would probably change the story somehow. Thanks. Now to wipe the floor with those lousy sprawl brawlers. When you hear the crowd cheer on my name, you'll know it's for me. Well, yeah, it's your name. Well, duh. <laughs> oh. You can only get three stars in this? Okay. I did it, though. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Greetings. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. That's clearly... <laughs> I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. That's clearly a freaking duster on your head. This is not... <laughs> she would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. 
I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. Okay, yeah, we're definitely down in this Why one. do you pester me with questions? I am a very important royal figure, and I must enter your city to meet your princess and marry her. Now let me be gone, child. Quack! I doubt. Just a few more routine procedures. You understand. Please hurry. I do not like to be kept waiting. It's clearly not her. Your envoy said you had a message for the princess. What was that message again? My message? Oh, it's Iki Bok Choi Flanagan Mok Tok. It means together we shall be married. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Quaplorm. How long did it take you to learn a second language? Not that long. It wasn't hard to learn Marvagian. I mean, this language we're currently speaking. Mm, should I use an item? I mean, I don't know what they could be possibly hiding, but... Like, this is clearly suspicious. I mean, I would say they're hiding a weapon, but they clearly have a weapon right there, so like... Something about you isn't adding up here. I remember I have your picture. Maybe if I go and get it, I can... My picture? Uh, there is no need for that. Oh, really? I promise you I am the real Praetor Kargan, straight from Marvog, fresh out of the ballet. If you don't let me in, I'll be forced to send my scary envoy with all the knives after you. With all the she knives? She and I got along great. Oh. Okay, then. If you don't let me in, you'll never see her again. Her or her head in a bag. Crab cakes! But how does she know about the head in the bag? Okay, I just- I'm doubting it all. What good is a praetor's promise to a little girl like me? Fine. If you let me in, I'll give you candy. <laughs> and now you're trying to bribe me. Not really the dignified behavior you'd expect from a praetor. All right, well, this is obviously a deny, right? I mean... But I am the prattler! The phone's ringing. What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thoughts? What? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? But that's cl that really is? They look stupid. Deny. I do what I want. There's no way. I don't believe that. You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. Dude, you got a clock on your thing. There's no way. Saw through the fake. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, thank God. They they gaslighted me. I hate that freaking word, by the way. But they did. You the phone. Oh, you gotta let them in. Like seriously, I'm doing my job here. Okay, leave me alone. Okay, that's the real one. <laughs> Little warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand that, and bring honor to one. my people. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla? That's the one. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Okay. All right. I think I'll probably get a good score if I just do this, right? For a second, I thought like I was. And thus, I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. You. Little warrior will have a footnote in history for this encounter. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! Kapla! <laughs> okay. After the imposter was very clear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So maybe I'm, I'm overthinking the game a little bit. It's just basically how good can you deduce things? I think is really the whole point of the game. All right, I did pretty good. I actually did better than last time. All right, let's go to the Twisted Sister Cavern. Oh, this dude. I feel sorry I for this it. guy. I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. A sock? Just one sock, not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one <laughs> sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you. I didn't, I'm not, you're not gonna make me regret letting you in, are you? If it isn't my little gate guard friend. Of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yeah, 
yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. Yeah, I said that. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. Must have been the rats. Yuck. Um, not a classic beauty, natural erosion. Well, I don't know what that means. She ain't a classic beauty. You can say that again. Anyway, I can fix that for you. That would be wonderful. For a price. Ah. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do oh, it. I have that. I, I guess. I, why would we even want to do this? I'm just going to do it because I don't know All what right, it's for. It's a deal. Beauty. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. How long is this going to take? Listen, lady. Patience is a virtue. Is it really just going to be to play music from the game or something? There you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Okay. Now that's better. Oh, it literally is just like a... Will this affect the story in any way? Oh, I just noticed he has an ocarina. I love all the references to different video games. Oh, I can sell this stuff. Dang, this stuff sells for a lot. Okay. All right, well, let's just keep buying these. I'll buy... Those. And then we'll get another upgrade. The truth spray was pretty helpful, so I'm gonna do that. I hope I don't regret this. All right, yeah, we're supposed to... We're supposed to go bet, right, at the Goblin Ball Stadium? The heck are you? Hello! Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? It's a little Sounds on good to me. The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title. And you don't get pizzazz without taking polls, or polzazz as I call it. Care to give your opinion? Actually, I've really got to be... Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Uh... I don't know. Perfect. And the stadium? You would say it's a... Uh... It's a ditch with chairs. Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... Uh... Bathrooms. Okay. That is super. Your input will be tallied with the others. Thank you very much for your time today. Am I really going to influence the name of the thing? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm interested. So it's, it's, I, what I like about this game too is that you can watch different people play it and probably get different, you know, experience it, uh, it differently, which is interesting. Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative foam fingers. You there, what can I get for you today? Did you say illegal gambling? I sure did. You interested? I'm 12. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? Hey, it's you true. <laughs> who's gonna win the big game? I can't be any worse at this than my dad. So sure, why not? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Kind of covering it, but... Yeah, see, there's the other one. Doesn't really matter. Eh, they're not the best team in the game, but they got a real ring of playing for them. Saruna Goodfoot. Boy, when she gets going, you can't stop her. You sure you want to bet on them? Oh, is that the one? Is that the girl that, that I just freaking met? I need to hear about the other one first. The home team hasn't been doing too well at home lately. A lot of people are still angry at him after that game with the foul and the points got reinstated. They're more of an away team, but they're a shoe in to win today. If the other team didn't have that ring of Saruna Goodfoot playing for them. You sure you want to bet on them? Oh, but I... But she gave me her lucky thing. So does that mean she's gonna lose? We're gonna pe we're gonna bet on this one because, you know, we know about. Them. They're not the best. How much you're looking to gamble? All of it. Actually, that's all I have. So. All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. Oh. Let's can... watch some goblin. What happens if you go in there? After one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with a rare capture of the Golden Mongoose, Come this on, is still give me money, game. baby. But look, Kalidar's star player Saruna Goodfoot has taken possession of the wagon wheel. My producer is just telling me she isn't wearing her signature lucky second no! band. No! That's, well, that's, that's what I was saying! She's running, she's running, and she hurls the wagon wheel, and it misses 
No! By a long shot. <laughs> what an upset. That's she gave game, it to folks. me. I didn't a confiscate it. For the hometown heroes. What a great day of Goblin Ball. Ah. Uh. Hey. Tough I luck, literally kid. said this. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Dang Just it. ask for Fredo. I knew. <sighs> I was like, no, oh, there's no way that's gonna matter. It mattered. It freaking mattered. Hate this game. But that that's interesting that that was actually, in, you know, the reason why. I'm just so mad because I seen it coming. All right, let's go back to bed. All right, what is the freaking radio gonna say? Oh, how did this go? Yeah. So the money that we gave him, he tripled it, uh, but then he lost it. Playing beer pong. No, I meant no, that's not how he lost it. It was spinning the bottle. And then he dropped the mage grade crystal out of his pantaloons. So we can go find it. And the alley? Okay. Uh, obviously, he was good. We already know. Oh, so, okay. So apparently, he got, okay. Last night, he got stuffed into a garbage can. So apparently, there's, uh, people don't like dwarves. And, uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> or, man, like, he was worried about that, right? And then he got stuffed in a garbage can, so... Uh oh Hey, I had nothing to do with that. I helped him. As best as I could. Okay, what happened to her? They went to the funeral. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry crotch? <laughs> what? When it came to the casket, the attendants who com com commemorated the event by clearing cleaning themselves through the Duchess moving illogy. That's disgusting. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Unfortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and two with the help of the mysterious contact on the inside whose office happened to be just down the hall. Really now. So they're corrupt, right? They just let him escape? After the Goblin Ball game, Serena, uh, Serena had to face the scorn of her disappointment coach teammates or uh, anti-mates, but only for about 30 seconds as she was the only troll on her team and dwarfed the other players who were all rightly uh, terrified of her. Okay, so the fake predator, uh, predator that you've uh, very wisely turned away took their stick on the road and was eventually picked up by the Marva authorities for impersonating their beloved predator. She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet, lovingly called the Nutcracker. Alright. Because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the predator, the predator had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She had just the best time. She met a good dog who was patted, then kicked a football around with a couple of only slightly filthy rug of muffins on the west. These freaking names are getting me, man. Green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. All in all, it was the most relaxing afternoon in recent memory for her. And she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court where she dazzled those in attendance. Oh god, so, so much reading! Oh, I got an achievement. What was it for? Did I do good? For all your hard-hitting, high-octane, extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Rhonda Pig. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Pig, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin oh, what is it? Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... The I don't know ditch with chairs. It has washers. <laughs> Oh, that's I like great. It. I like it. I hate it. We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station. Okay. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. Breaking news! It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early what? this morning. Yo, what? In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. The All princess other is radio missing. Programs have been canceled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. He just sits there the entire day. Okay, well that's interesting. That seems like pretty big news. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute, Dad? What 
are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Then what are you doing here? I missed you. I oh. guess I just wanted to come check in. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? Joke about hair loss. I'm not the one losing my hair. Yeah, who'd have thought not working at the gate would be the thing to stress me out more? Dad, if you didn't end up working at the gate because your dad did, and his dad did, and his dad did, what would you have wanted to be? You know, nobody's ever asked me that before. A professional well, gambler. nobody since your mother. Yeah, what happened to mother? What did you tell her you wanted to be? A father. Oh. <laughs> you're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask. Yeah, those people are clearly told. corrupt, uh, right? There's we are it's so obvious. alike in so many ways. And they, they're the one in charge of the freaking princess going missing. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Aww. <laughs> this is every time. Aww. They're hugging because they like each or they love each other. They like each other. I hope they do. Attention. What do you want? Oh God, is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? A Randy? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Thank God. That was like the previous guard shed, wasn't it? Our I'm shed, here shed to guard, personally whatever. approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. You can get back in your chair now. Oh, I can send people to jail now? Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? Uh, no. Very good. You've received your briefing. Now do your duty. Cool. I get to send people to jail. Nice. Now I feel really important. Okay. Due to the sudden unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, question. And don't be afraid to use the delicious new gel leffer. Okay. City's Brawl has hit an all-time low today. Anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. So entertainment is important. We're instituting a spirit cut back on non-human entrance to the sprawl. So, okay, we're prioritizing humans. Secondhand intelligence suggests that a goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket. <gasps> Is it the one I let in? No way, no way, he was so tiny. In fact, I'll pay 12 gold for every goblin I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Oh, well, that seems, that seems like profiling. Be on the lookout for uh, would-be heroes and vigilants wanting to offer their assistance in search and rescue for the princess. The High Council of the Spall have their own plan to ensure the princess is safe return. The princess thing, people are going nuts. Have you heard about that crazy no goblins allowed policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At the very least, uh, it'll bug Councilwoman Ash. Malcolm, okay. Okay, interesting. I just want to arrest people. Okay, we have a lot of these gyms. So, okay, we'll do that. Do that. I want to make sure everything at least has one charge. Oh, what the heck? Hello there. My name <laughs> is Mudface. What? I'm a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. Ah, uh, he has the same voice as that freaking, uh, what's it called? You know, that little pink guy that we played the other day? Or, I don't know, a few weeks ago or something? Got the same exact voice. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Sorry, did you say your name was Buckface? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a characters. I would have liked Spencer 1 or even Quincy Hart. 
But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? Okay, well they said to basically gel him. So, should I just do that? It just seems wrong. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. He's not even I real though. I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. Doubt? Maybe you can honor your great goblin uncle by becoming a really good forager. I hope so, because I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. Uh, we're gonna need this. Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. A uh, bag of low quality rice. It's literally low quality. Aside from farming, I often fill my time talking and giving gifts to the townsfolk and other strangers I meet. Like I did with you on the bag of rice. This helps me gain favor and friendships with the eventual goal of falling in love and getting married. I have not been successful at it yet. I do not think anyone likes the gifts I have given them. <laughs> um, tease. Maybe instead of rice or pine codes, you could give something more valuable like money or gemstones? Good idea. Do you have any? Yes, and my gemstones are for my future spouse. Get your own. Okay, I feel like uh, we should just gel them, right? I mean, that's what they want us to do. It seems wrong, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Sorry, straight to gel. <laughs> I feel terrible. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let goblins in today, so I'm gonna have to throw you in jail. Oh, uh, poor butt face. Is the jail on the other side of this gate? Yes. Then technically you are letting me inside it. No, I'm technically... <laughs> Stop poking holes in the lodge. Shut up, butt face! Are you seriously throwing me in jail? Hasta la vista, butt face. <laughs> you received 12 gold for sending a goblin to prison. Okay, alright. They you were pretty callous and heartless sending him to the dungeon, but Councilwoman Ash was quite insistent, so good job! So I get so I I should send them to jail then. Alright. That seems very wrong, but you know. Just following <laughs> orders here. Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee. Uh. And I appear. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a second. This doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh, wait. There's one. Excuse me. Are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Then I'm in the right spot. I can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. He looks like he needs glasses. So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. But he's not saying he wants in. Wait, but I'm not. Actually, I want to see where this is going. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Uh, straight to jail. <laughs> That's the answer. Uh, how about, how about seven? Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? No. Nope. What else do you do? Now, I just want to see what he says. I don't even care this what my great, score is. But I gotta come clean. I'm not Becky Schnauzenholder or, or whatever. Schnauzenholder. My name order. is Lil, and this is a card shed. And you haven't even made it into the city yet. What? Oh, rats. Come on, the Edward. Get it together. This is all because I couldn't see where I was trying to get to. Now I'm going to be super late for this kid's party. Okay, um... Tease. I don't think Becky would mind if you showed up late. Or not at all. Ooh, the burns. But then I won't get my 40 gold and slice of birthday cake. She wants a birthday cake. Did they, they didn't say nothing about magicians, right? Oh, okay, wait. Anyone from the entertainment section should be bumped into the front of the line. Oh, so they want entertainment. I mean, he seems really bad, though. I guess I should let him in then, huh? After I see under what's under that hat. All right, we're gonna hit him with the metal detector. Oh! Oh! Ah! 
So you're interested in the metal rings. They're a part of the great linking and unlinking rings illusion. I'd show you the trick, but I can't seem to get them off my belt. Okay, do I get to keep the rings? I guess not. Okay, very tempted to send them to jail, but I'll admit them. They said to let them in. I don't know if this will give me a good score, but I imagine I won't be too bad if they want entertainment people. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew what? I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me. Yeah, I'm here to help. Now, I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. Alakazoo, Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. I thought he was going to say he's got a P or something. At least that would have rhymes. Uh, this magician had a booking to get to and the sprawl needs a joy at a time like this. But since he didn't have his glasses, he didn't do a very good job providing that joy. Wait, was I supposed to give him glasses? I don't remember getting glasses. Was I supposed to find some somewhere? Okay. Hello! <laughs> You're clearly a goblin. I see that you are. Hi. Hello. We would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter Oh, there's enter two the goblins. School, I please? should have known. And you are... It's the oldest trick in the book. Magnus the Magnificent, renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you have heard of me. Okay. I mean... I, I want to know more about them, but I think if we just immediately gel them, we'll get the best score, right? Because I feel like it's kind of boring to not listen to what they have to say, though. What business do you have in town today, Magnus? At the Great Library, there is an incantation in Sir... Uh... Bartholomew Inglebrook! Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise on the... Uh... Lunar Implication! Lunar implications for plant magic that becomes legible but twice a year. I must see it with my own eyes. Doubt. What the hell was that? <laughs> what was what? You really struggled to get that out. I'm not convinced you know what you're talking about. Well, you don't sound like you know what you're talking about either. All right, you're getting the whip. I just want to see what happens. Or the x-ray. Should I use the x-ray or the whip? I feel like the whip would work. You're getting the whip. <laughs> Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Oh, wait. There we go. What's the matter with you? Oh, heck, our cover is blown. Quick, let's cheese it. Please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. We're sorry. We're sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, hey. You don't bring that language in this city. Okay, you were specifically instructed to apprehend and goblins to the dungeon and failing that turned them away But I guess whipping them got the job done. You were one sick puppy. So I should have jailed them I just wanted to see what I wanted to see My curiosity got the best of me. I I knew that I should have jailed them, but I just didn't want to yet. Oh You look real. Congratulations to you little sister of this big beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Look at his eyes. What is he, what is he, what's in that freaking pipe thing? He's, <laughs> this is like Willie Nelson as a freaking mage. Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Yeah, tell me. Oh, I've been around for a spell, always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the great desert in the south of Marvog. Along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. I've wandered through all of these many, many times. But for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. Um... Hey, what's in this? I, okay, you can't be bringing this stuff in here. Jeez. Oh, yeah. This tiny little shed is so beautiful. I must remember to take a mental picture so I can conjure it whenever I feel like I'm having too much fun. Could be a lot worse, little dudette. 
Not as if someone peed on your rug. Is that a common expression? It is where I come from. I almost want to use the truth thing on him just to see what he says. Let's just do it. I don't freaking care. Ooh, that's a particularly potent blend right there. Tasty, a little sweet, with just enough bitter finish to keep you coming back for more. Are you going to tell me your deepest, darkest secrets now? Secrets way down the soul, little sister. Thank I you. have he's, no secrets. He's fine. My life is an open book. Well, can you tell me something interesting anyway? I mean, I did spend an action point on the yeah. damn truth spray. <laughs> this is interesting. Like, it's like you would have never known this if you didn't use the items, you know? Sure thing, kid. Let me tell you some history. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular, a young headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the Guard Corps, and the court jester, although I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. These three have been battling for control of the sprawl for years now. But what about the princess? She's next in line. True, but at the time she was just a kid. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside forces are using her as a pawn. That's good to know. Word on the street is Princess Desdemona has disappeared. Some say kidnapped. Some say run away. Kidnapped? Uh, I would assume kidnapped. I think she was kidnapped. Whatever did happen, it has truly bummed me out. I've got more to say if you've got the ears to listen. Okay. Princess Desdemona is the living legacy of the great peace brought by her late father, King Oswin. And already the fires of war are being fanned on all sides. Questioning? Doubtful? Do you really think war is on the horizon? Oh, yes. But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town to town looking for a little bit of joy to put in my pocket. But everyone I've met seems so happy. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of myself, little sister. Maybe cooler heads will prevail, but history doesn't have many examples of that. There's a lot of pressure to fill the void left by the death of King Oswin. Just keep your eyes open is all I'm saying. All right, thank you, wizard man. I guess you, you, you can go in. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. Although I feel like I should have confiscated that, but you know. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Am I gonna, is this gonna be a bad score? It probably is. Oh, based on his action, he seemed fine with your decision. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, it was pretty easy to figure out who was the, the bad people, right? Lil, like, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Uh, why? By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yes. Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. What? Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. All right, what was my score? Okay, it was not as good, but all right. Wait, we still did it. We still passed. It's really just because I didn't gel this guy. And honestly, I don't know what I did wrong here. I guess I should just immediately admitted him. I don't know. Well, this is spooky. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate. Step forward into the light. Well, this is kind of creepy. Is there a person standing here? What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Will, you have been chosen. Oh, it's her dad, clearly. 
to play the hit game that's sweeping oh, it's the sprawl. The same voice that's actor, right. is it not? It's time for So You Think You Can Save a Princess. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo War Killer. What is happening? Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, a mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsin! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Stryker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. The soup? Ooh. <laughs> hmm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Okay, I guess we're doing this now. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Uh, favorite ice cream? Origin story, perfect rescue. It seems like that would be... You know what, we're gonna judge them on their ice cream. If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? And why? And who would you like to ask? Um, you. Blood. And sweat and tears. A swirly ice cream cone made up of these three true flavors. Very refreshing after a hard day's battle. Okay. You can ask another adventurer if you like. You? You know that smell when it's about to rain? I'd like to be an ice cream of that flavor. That's an interesting answer. Any chance you could pick another, you know, normal flavor. And like his was normal. Oh, you know that feeling when electricity is coursing through you? Maybe an ice cream of that flavor. You could have just said no. <laughs> okay, what about you? Oh, okay, we can only ask two of them. Well, that was a dumb question. And your second question is? Perfect first date. <laughs> you know, we should just ask them these questions. Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. What's your ideal first date? And who's that one for? I'm gonna make him regret asking me this. Okay, you didn't get an answer, so... Here we go. We break into the Museum of Modern History here in the Sprawl. The security's a joke. We steal the crown and scepter of King Oswin that's housed there. We split the profits 50-50, shake hands, and go our separate ways. What a date. Okay. You can ask another adventurer if you like. I honestly want to know what he says. Easy. We engage in feats of strength combat without weaponry using only our bodies one against the other and as we begin to sweat where is this going oh okay uh, i think we're done here <laughs> that answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence i was ready to vow the child with mine let's stick to the format folks there's a rich tradition we're preserving here please wait your turn a warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. <sighs> what the heck? <laughs> you are gaslighting me. Ah, I hate this word. <laughs> the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <sighs> what the uh -oh. heck is happening? Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? 
Oh, why can't I pick him? He clearly can do it. I would pick him. I don't even know what this guy does, though. I guess I'll pick this guy. Don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke fire. Oh, it's him, isn't it? Game? What do you mean, game over? You dot what? Uh oh. I'm, what? Like... <laughs> I, what is happening? You then. Uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Um, squirrel. Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> Uh, I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. Oh, I got a game over. I'm for glad that. you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. <sighs> Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? Honestly, let's just get this over with. I'm confused and tired. And I have to pee. Can we just get this over with already? Uh-oh. You know what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> that sound means it's time for the lightning round. This is so random. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Uh, I honestly, I want him to go and do it, to be honest. All right, Neil, are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Oh, too bad. No! Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as He was as supposed to... <laughs> oh my god, that wasn't real, right? Oh my god, no! It's like they knew he was gonna do that. Uh oh, you know what that sound means. Oh god, not again. My conscience can't <laughs> take much more of it. No. That sound means we are out of time. You piece of right, no. Well, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? I, I, I guess. Oh, we can pick one of them? I don't trust any of them. I'm gonna pick the rogue dude, and I, I don't really. I'm just gonna. Wait, I can pick the warrior? Why does I pick the warrior? Well, you can't. He's dead. Choose again. I'm picking the rogue. I I, I really would have picked the other guy, but... Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Perry Shelton the Thief. I mean, his ability just didn't seem that cool. Hey, hey, everything's coming up Millhouse. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pack population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. Supposed so long, everybody. Supposed to be the price is right. Okay, well, that's interesting. I really want to know the actions of our consequences uh, by and the end of this. I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. No one believes us. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? All right. I just want to go to the alley real quick and see if we find that crystal. Wait, isn't this guy in the trash? No? Oh, never mind. All right, we're going to end it there. Scrub of the day time. Guys, smash like if you enjoyed it. I, I really like this game so far. I would like to complete it. How many endings are there? That's what I want to know. But yeah, anyway, you know what time it is. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... X Prince 